Right, last night in Blackpool. What's that noise? It's a camera. I did um last night in Blackpool. Down to Mambo. Uh, I mean, I suppose I could try another one, but I prefer Mambo. Uh, maybe. At least 300 pounds, if not more. Mm. And that's just in one weekend. So, looking about 100 pounds a day I've spent. I don't know what on. Just buying things, having meals out, or having treats out, or I don't know. Plus, I bought things as well. I bought clothes today from Primark. I bought some gay DVDs because it's HMV in Blackpool. This is what I mean, a lot of these things aren't in which gold, so maybe I should move back to the city. I don't know which one, but I don't know. Mind you, then again, I like, I like the country life stuff. Uh, I think the answer is, is just to keep doing my driving lessons. That's, that's the answer. I can have the best of both, though. I can drive to the city and live in the countryside. Do that now. It's just the buses stop about six o'clock. So if I want to do anything, go anywhere or whatever, then I have to walk to the which pub. See, when I've got a car, I have to do that. So I need to concentrate my driving lessons. So, nearly there. I think he's slowing. I think he's slowing down my practical lessons because. I'm not making any mistakes, it's just the theory I'm still struggling a bit with. But I don't really, I suppose it's, I suppose it's because I don't put that much effort into it. I only, I only devote about five minutes at the most per day to my theory. Maybe if I devoted uh, more, then more time, then.
Yeah, at one time I used to think that people over 30 or people over 40. I definitely used to think people who are over 40. At one time I even thought people over 30. But I definitely thought people over 40 were past it. But now I realise that you can actually do more. As long as you look, as long as you got your health, you can actually do more because because you relax more with age, so can, I'd have been too uptight to have done all this when I was younger. I'd, I'd have just been, I'd just been too uptight to go to a gay bar on my own when I was about twenty. When I was about twenty or something, I wouldn't have done it. I'd have been too scared to. So, in fact, the first time I went to a gay store when I was about thirty or thirty-one or or thirty-two, because I went with Dal Bradford back in two thousand twelve. So, and that was the very first time I'd gone to a gay store and I was literally petrified, literally. I think that's it, you relax a lot more with age, so, that, so then you can do more fun things. If you, if you, apart from yesterday, what, but if, you, if you're too tense, you can't enjoy the moment, is what I'm trying to say. I think everyone's gone back, look, because it's Sunday now and most people, the whole, the hotel, it's dead. There's only me there. I think most people leave on, I think most people come on Friday and leave on a Sunday. But I came on Friday and leaving on the Monday. So I thought I want, I want at least three days. Well, that's pretty good. I like the colours, red, white, is it, is it supposed to be white, is it supposed to be, I don't know, it's trying to rain for the first time, I'm surprised it hasn't rained soon actually because I've been here all weekend, it's unusual for Blackpool, every time I've been to Blackpool it's rained mostly, especially this time of year, but uh, I've got my hoodie so I'll be alright, I've got my hoodie. If I get wet, I've got moisturiser. I've got eye cream, I've got lip balm, I've got moisturiser, I've got everything on me. Oh fuck, I haven't got my hair, my bush, my coat. Fuck, fuck, fuck. So, there we are. The sea's out at the moment, which is good, because I don't need to get wet from two, from two different places. The sky and the sea. Just one will do. We have to. It's the first evening I've done my coat up, so that says it's getting colder. Because it was the first night I've had to do my coat up. I got this coat from Next, I think Thursday was it? I went to Mary or Willow. Uh, yeah, Thursday. Or Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday. £110 for we move on. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. I'm getting wet, I'm going to go up there, I think. I'm getting wet. God, how many stairs is this? Am I going too fast? <laughs> I'm not even getting tired either. God, I'm quite healthy, aren't I? Bloody heck, how fast I've done that. It's all this walking, it keeps me active, it keeps me fit. How the fuck am I supposed to get up there? Badly designed. This is badly designed. I'm going to go up there to show you the illuminations because I'm always filming down here. Oh. Oh, that was a bit of fun, man. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. Just filming on the beach, I want to show you the illumination. Let's have a look. My hair is such a mess.
good. Oh, these cross them, man. I can do it on this side. See the illumination? That's the best western. I don't think I'll buy it because it's too expensive. Actually enjoying this walk, you know. It's a walk between Witchfold and George and Witchbrook. They're using about a, a billion light bulbs. I mean, look how far it goes, it goes on for miles. I suppose the cats are putting their own money on, I suppose. I think everyone's gone back home. So I'm up north now, it's only out yeah, windy. But you never get this wind. We do if you get to the top. It's coming from the Irish Sea probably over there. I'm sure what there's a black one in the island. Filming in a minute because I need to cross this road in a minute. <laughs> no, there's 
anything dodgy going on here? What's wrong with this? What's this for dodgy? I don't, I don't avoid trouble either. I'm, I'm not a leg. I don't avoid trouble. I don't avoid problems. if anyone tries to bug me. I'm just saying go for it. Give your best shot. <laughs> me nerves. That, that woman. Oh, oh you should be alright. It's safe for this side of black. I thought what? Well, I'm going out regardless. Safe my foot. I've walked around parts of Hockley and everything and I've, I've walked around rougher places than this, that's for sure. <sighs> My friend Trevor in Birmingham, he used to have a tough uh, <laughs> he, used to, he used to have to keep to put, he used to have to keep putting his tough back in. Because it had like a nail in it. And he had to keep pushing it back into his mouth. It was I did fancy him before that, but that kind of put me off. Yeah. Back when I was about 14 or 15 or something. He was from a really good fair with Birmingham. Um, Get that. I was walking around there. Yeah. Okay. I'm here now, so we're going to the gay bar. So I'm going to bid you adieu and goodbye. I need to cross this road. Blessings, blessings, blessings on your alley. Um, sounds like a boost on my shit, doesn't it? Blessings on your alley.